see as you can see we removed as much rust as possible I even did the frame now that looks like it's rusty but that's already been ground on and uh, that's just what it looks like we'll have to wipe everything down I got a different type of sealer you know how I, this is all POR 15 some of it I sprayed it some of it I brushed it on Eastwood had a product and it was cheaper than uh, POR 15 because POR 15 has about tripled in price since the first time I bought it it just says about how long I've been working on this truck <laughs> too long since I bought this I don't even remember what it's called or what the price is now because it's probably went up ridiculous Okay, so I got a spray can of rust encapsulator matte black that's not that's I got glot whatever so we got matte black it's been so long I don't know yeah okay I hope this jug's not matte black it is okay so that section is gonna be matte black which might look awkward but it's gonna seal everything in it's gonna seal in the flavor rust encapsulator I think for all of this I'm gonna save this spray cam and I think I'm gonna brush it on and if I don't like how it looks I'll just go over it with gloss black spray paint I ain't gonna hurt nothing so we're gonna do that in this episode what else have we got oh the rocker the rocker so all the work I already did on this rocker it's it's horrible so we gotta redo it all okay you get a good look from right now from right here the door's not completely shut these doors they're they're hard to shut so up front large gap also i chipped the paint here and here so i mean i'm not really too worried about it anyways because I, I was gonna have to repaint that but this i should shut the door but you can see how uh this is not kosher let me get it down and i'll i'll uh, shut the door completely and then i'll show you what it looks like all right so let me show you um this gap right here nothing i can do about this but this is the passenger side and as you can see it's good of course it's original rocker from like right here back i only replaced this front that was rusted out so yeah that's good now i got the door shut now so we can take a gander at this what is that overbite look at that not kosher honestly what needs to happen is it needs cut away from the vehicle pulled down but it's gonna have i'm gonna have to grind away at the cab corner to even get that down so i just went ahead you know so i'm like i'm probably gonna butcher this thing up when i do it so i bought this one um we're probably okay right here the door needs adjusted honestly um it could come down a little bit here in the front so i think we'll be okay up here in the back that's where we're tight everything's tight the fitment so we're gonna have to cut this rocker off or at least cut it free so we have play and stuff then adjust the door where it fits everywhere else which there's no way i'm getting all this done in this episode i can just tell you that right now this is probably be a two-parter then i gonna need to redo the rocker fit it while the door is on there i know you all said it you did it's okay you know you live and you learn it is what it is now <laughs> but i'm not so sure that i want to cut the whole rocker off i need to get it free back here in the back i need to cut some of it back here i might just have might just patch it but if i can get that loose back there get all the the well, there are no pinch welds back there. They're all up here. I'm going to take a couple of these out, probably. And then uh, work from there. Yeah, they're all up front here. But that cab corner also... No, no, it's not. We just, we just need to get this. It's this whole pocket in here. This is the problem, and right here, inside of here. So... Yeah, lot, lots of work. 
lots of work to do. Anyways, <clears throat> I'll get back to this tomorrow. I gotta wait for that sealer to dry. That was old tube of sealer. I need to order more because I just ran out, but it is what it is. The BRZ. I have every single part. Well, no, I don't have every single part. Some are on their way here. I have to make a trip next weekend out close to Philly to get the rest of the parts, but I, I located them. I got a good price on them. Um, so, yeah. We got new headlights, a, a used dashboard from somebody. The vent was a little messed up, so I took the vent out of mine. It's got to go in. I got fog lights there. I got... A new core support, fans, condenser, radiator. Um, of course, that new dash has an airbag in it. So that'll go in. That radio, I have a harness coming for that so I can wire a backup camera in because you can wire an external camera into that, but I don't have the harness. So that's what I got to do is... Uh, get the harness for that and i it's an i doing radio which i looked it up and it's very cheap but honestly it's surprisingly good for how cheap it is so i'm leaving it in there i'm getting from this guy in philly this airbag the hood the fender the bumper support in the front and the pad that goes on that and i got all of that which if i would have bought everything new or and it's not the right color it's black, I think. If I would have bought everything new, I would have had at least a thousand dollars in those parts, and I'm getting them for six fifty. Um, along with what else did I get? That dashboard I got for hundred and fifty bucks with the airbag. That would have been way more. I still have a lot of money into this thing with parts and everything. It's uh, not as cheap as I thought it was going to be. Of course. I could have saved some money by not buying the bumper that I bought, the headlights. If I had bought stock headlights, I, I could have saved myself probably $400 off of this repair cost, which isn't much when you're coming to, re you know, look at this dirt. When you're repairing a car, $400 isn't that much. But I mean, when it came to this thing, that would have been a uh, thing. It, it's, <laughs> I got too much money in this thing, okay? i just put it that way right now. I don't know that I'll... Uh, it's a good thing that I'm going to be driving it because I do not think I will get my money back out of this when I'm putting into it. Pretty much all the repairs plus paint and everything. I'm going to have three grand in repairs in this thing. And you know what I paid for it. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be close to what I can get out of it. Oh, just enjoy it. We're just going to drive it. After we... Do some things on this. Get it closer. Maybe finish it? No? Yes? I don't know. All right, tomorrow. All right, we back. Let's go ahead and throw some of this uh, Eastwood rust encapsulator on there. Let me open it up first, and I want to see what it looks like. I guarantee I'm going to have to mix it up, but, yeah, let's let's take a gander at it. Get a paint stick. Get these real cheap on Amazon. Yep, she needs mixed. So it doesn't, it has a smell to it, but it doesn't smell like P.O.R. 15, so it must be different. I mean, it should be. It's a different product. Well, the only thing I have which is pretty strong is almost a full can of this black engine enamel, which will work fine. So we'll see. Once we get this on here, if we're going to cover it up with that.
know that stuff says matte finish, but uh, as of right now, it's glossy. So maybe it'll look fine and I won't have to spray anything on it. Just like POR 15, it makes a mess. I think it's a little bit thinner. Uh, it seems to go further when you're spreading it on there, but uh, I don't think you would have to thin it as much if you were going to spray it out of a gun because it seems thinner than POR 15. But yeah, everything uh, is coated up under here now. It's looking a lot better now. So it doesn't look like I missed a spot. Some of you, I don't know if you know how much work I have into this thing. I mean, that shot from underneath, that should tell the story. Like, I've been working on this thing for a long time in little chunks, sometimes big chunks. So, uh, anyways, that was uh, my little chunk for today. Tomorrow, I'm going to get back into this. I'm going to try to cut that rocker. All right, so we're back a week later. Um, I, I want to move it forward so I have room to work. I'm going to kind of move it that way. And then um, we'll start marking stuff. The cab corner hopefully does not get messed up. I like where it's at. We just got to do some shaping um, on the door line here. So we might mark that out first. Then, as you can see, the door needs to drop in the back. So... We're going to have to make adjustments on the door. We're tight here. Tight. The whole door needs to drop, honestly. Yeah, we're high on this side, too. So the whole door needs to come down, and adjustments need to be made. Activate. Activate.
as you can see, this is a time-consuming uh, task trying to get this door lined up. I was trying to get it lined up with the fender, then I realized I need to quit trying to get it lined up with the fender because this is a time on these fender that doesn't fit for crap. And now I'm just trying to get it. I honestly got it fitting worse now than I had it. And oh, hey. <laughs> I have hours, hours in taking this door on and off. I gotta take it back off again. Uh, but yeah, we're. Uh, I gotta go back to where I started at. I need to raise this hinge a little bit. That one's in as far as it'll go. I, it needs to raise up a little bit and then tilt down a little bit because I'll show you, I had a, a way better gap before. And now I have a, a bigger gap up here than I do down here. And this is part of the original door here. So that should be, this should all be uniform across here. So I need to raise the front of the door up and then tilt it down a little bit. So yeah, door needs to come back off. These hinges right here, once you get them set, don't don't mess with those. So, all right, I'm gonna take, no, not recording anymore uh, i'm gonna take i'm gonna get this door fitted right and then i'll show you what it looks like but yeah on off on off this is why i don't like working on this thing Now that's looking pretty good, but I can tell you this much. I'm gonna have to end this episode. <laughs> so sadly, this is all the better I could get this fender fit. Man, if you remember right, I got like eight spacers up here to lift this fender. And uh, I gotta bolt it in. It kind of, the door kind of sticks, overlaps right here, which I can use a spacer. There's a, there's a bolt in back here. But let me show you so you can see how the door kind of sticks out past. I can put it a shim in back here, which I did have two in there, and I took them both out right here. Um, that'll pull this out a little bit, but I, I can't do anything. I, I tried and tried. I That's why I have a jack here. I tried jacking on the bottom of the fender hoping that it would lift it up that it's just not going anywhere so that's honestly i mean for these cheap fenders they're not cheap but for being taiwan fenders that's probably a pretty good fitment uh, i can't move the door because this is where the door is supposed to be now the only thing i i, I feel like this door edge kind of sticks out too much but I also feel like that's fine because it's like level when you look at it this way. I don't know. There's not really much I can do. I can push. I can put that in a little bit further. Actually, let me let me do that. Let me put this. But I think if I if I move this in, it's also going to tilt this in. And right now, it kind of goes back in a little bit. The door seal holds it out a little bit, but. Yeah. Okay. Let me let me just move it in just a tad bit, and then I'll, we'll see where we're at. All right. So I still have to slam the door, but I got it. I did uh, some real adjusting here. The door still lifted up whenever I shut it because it was still too low, and there's nothing I could do on these adjustments over here to get it up any higher. So I put the jack underneath it and just lifted it until it move the door up and I mean it fits really good now Now I still have to slam it because it's hitting the bottom rocker but let me show you something right there's the first latch and it lines up perfect it's not lifting the door at all now I had to slam it to get it in the whole way and that's just because it's hitting the rocker and that still didn't I'll show you where it's hitting because of my bad body work right here. So replacing this is a must. It didn't mess up my uh, my bed liner, but yeah, that's that's definitely a must. Oh look, 
Taiwan. <laughs> Did not hide my bodywork here. The carpet covers all this. Oh, this is the inner rocker, and I just, you know, went right over top of it. So, yeah, that's the way that's gonna be. Oh, with the door seal off, it shuts real easy. That's nice. It, w it wasn't even doing that with the door seal off before. All right. So anyways, if you like this video, smash that like button. Consider subscribing. Hit that dislike button if your mom wants me to bang her cab corners. And we'll see you on the next episode of Unwrap. Hey, boo-boo. Get off my camera. Heist you, man. What? No. Hi, Miss Della. Hi, Miss Della. Hi. Hi. Your brother was coming to steal your thunder. Where you, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Do I say bye? Bye bye.